Welcome back to the life of Repton, let's see how Repton does at school today. Okay, we can see right at the start we're in a bit of a rush, being chased by a cricket ball, and also we've upset the teacher. So we duck out of the way of the cricket ball and uh, lead the teacher around. Repton's always good at teasing the teachers. You can see there's some homework in the middle there, Repton wants to keep as far away from that as possible. So now we're still being chased by some cricket balls, but we can wait here and then hide ourselves in the corner where it bounces off these footballs which have protected us. Repton shuffle that and grab our calculator and uh, upset the teacher once again. But fortunately you put this football in place to sort him out. Repton's not very hot for teacher. So Repton must have found the sports equipment shed here. And now there's a cricket ball coming towards us, there we've just seen it there. And we kind of have to wait for it to get into place so we can trap it. Because otherwise it's a bit awkward to deal with. We do have a little bit of a time limit problem on this level, so we've got to be careful. So I'll just make the way, way clear for the uh, cricket ball around here. This is how we arrange it to go into that uh, stump there. So uh, just as the times ring out, we can rush to our desk and pretend we've been working all this time. Right, so starting off, we start with a uh, ball on our head. So we've got to make a decision about where that needs to go to. And it's quite difficult, I mean quite easy to uh, mess up this uh, area here. Because you don't want that cricket ball going to that stump there because we need to go up there instead. So you've got to find a way to uh, dispose of the teacher without getting that stump there attached to the outside, which is easy to do by dropping things down like that. So you may be able to see here we've got a small little area and this map is divided into four equal parts and uh, just got to wait for the cricket ball to get to where that we want to go then we can leave this part. So here we've got a small little area where we can uh, push our ball backwards and forwards to get rid of the teachers. And this is where we find our key. So we can't go past the teacher, so we have to go all the way around here, and hopefully he uh, gets in the right place, but he didn't, so uh, push the ball across and get him on the other side instead. We once again find out where the teachers have been keeping their canes, but uh, this time they've hidden a little surprise in here too. We come all this way and we find out, oh no, there's a cricket stump there but we need to make the pathway clear. So we make our way back and release the cricket ball and get chased around all these canes by it. Fortunately there's a little indents occasionally so that it can uh, go back 
We can hide out the way here. Grab the sweets that we get from the uh, cricket ball hitting the stump from there. And pop back round so we can grab our pen to reset the time limit. And we find out when we come into here that uh, one of our teachers is already angry at us. Repton doesn't know quite what he's done here. I mean, he's done plenty for the teacher to be angry at, but he's not quite sure why this teacher's angry at him. So yes, I'm kind of arranging the balls around here so, to make the uh, journey for these cricket balls uh, a bit less. It's not much of a problem for this one. So it doesn't take so long, but then these other two in here actually take a, a fairly long time to get back round. And uh, they only need to come to these ones. So Repton's hanging around. It's nearly the end of break time for him, so he wants to try and get to his desk before the teachers notice he's missing. So he quickly grabs his calculator and gets to doing his work. That's all for now, see you next time.